afternoon baseball here on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Cleveland Indians and the New York Yankees. The Tribe attempt to break out the brooms in this three-game series right after this. Jay Happ, a southpaw from Illinois, gets the starting call in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, thanks, Matt. Jay Happ, big, tall guy, about 6'4", 215 pounds. It's really put things together. Not overpowering, but pinpoint control. Reminds me a lot of former AL Cy Young Award winner Cliff Lee. Control with really good Leading stuff. Good fastball, good changeup, and his curveball is getting a lot better. At the plate, Cesar Hernandez. He will lead this one off today. Grounded back up the middle. And that'll get on by into center field for a leadoff single. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, that kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. To the plate now, Oscar Mercado, as he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. Well, this Yankee ball club entering play this afternoon here. They come in playing reasonably well of late, though they have dropped their last two in a row. Yeah, Matty, you can't win when, when you're giving up that many runs. The pitcher was missing over the heart of the plate, not executing down and away, not brushing back anybody, making anyone feel uncomfortable. Guys were taking huge hacks off him. And to boot, the defense was on its heels. Now the one and one pitch. Count still at one and two. He's set now the pitch on oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out that was a nasty looking slider that time yeah that was really well executed Matt a classic strikeout pitch you think it's fastball middle in then it starts bearing in on your back leg and unless you hit it out front there's nothing much you can do with that So here's Francisco Lindor now. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0-1. That batting average hovering in the high 230s. Six home runs, 13 RBIs. Here comes the 0-1. Now a throw over and he'll get dirty but he's back in safely. Hoping to send him packing pitch on its way. Stays alive still 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch and the slider gets him swinging two gone. That's back to back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. Yeah, clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now Matt. He's taking control this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. And that'll bring in Fran Reyes. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. One out -oh count, here it is. Two balls. Breaking Go. ball that time that misses out of the zone. You never want to fall behind as a pitcher, but doing it to a guy like this is even worse. He's got to bear down and execute for the rest of this at bat, starting right now. And there's a swing and a miss, two and one now.
Hernandez leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Time to take a look at the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Mike Fillmore. Hey, d -Roll, Mike Fillmore, one of the most consistent umpires throughout the league. Both pitchers and position players love this guy. Yeah, I think one of the best in the business. How I judge a good teammate is every day he opens that door. Is he consistent? Can I count on him? Mike Fillmore is the exact same way behind the dish. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Now the payoff pitch home. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And foul, though it had the home run distance. He'll try it again, three and two. Weak rounder back to the mound. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Indians nothing. Yankees coming to bat. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Zach Plezak gets the ball for the Indians in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, Matt, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's really struggled lately. ERA over five in his last three starts, so he's going to have to really improve on that one. Too many base runners, too many hits, and too many walks. He needs to get off to a good start and maybe throw up a zero in the first inning. Here comes Here Brett Gardner now as he'll lead you. things off in the home the first. Brett. Now here Gardner. it comes. Swing and there it goes. He got all of that ball. Boom goes the dynamite. So it's a solo home run to lead off the bottom of the first. Sixth home run on the season for him as the Yankees will grab a one to nothing lead. Yeah, we always talk about how important it is to spot your starter or run or two early in the game, and he does just that, blasting a no-doubt bomb that serves notice. They're going to be swinging with the wood here. No better way to get the home crowd into it right out of the gates. And that, that sends D.J. LeMahieu into the box. Base. DJ. As he looks at a fastball that's Love in there for Mayhew. strike one. So, fellas, this Indians ball club, as they begin play here this afternoon, they've been hot of late, winners in four straight. Yeah, Matty, without question. We, they find themselves in this position today. They got a chance to sweep the series on Sunday and make it a miraculous weekend. Well, you know, it's always a nice way to finish off a weekend. You win a big game on Saturday, and to close it off with a win here and a sweep on Sunday would really be sweet for this ball club. Rounded down the third baseline. But this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0-2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. Well, there's the great equalizer, the changeup. El Cambio. Listen, if you can keep that pitch in your back the pocket right and pull it out when you need it, like he did right there, usually hitters, they don't stand a chance. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. The 1-0. Nope, that's the ball. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher to just go ahead and challenge him. Too far out in front that time. He can't keep it fair. Two and one. To two and two now. Two and Offered two. at that breaking ball below the zone, and that's a tough one to spit on. But the key is recognizing it coming out of the pitcher's hand earlier and making sure that it goes up before it comes down. More likely to be a hanger when that's the case. 
There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. Comes with the fastball, but it's outside for ball four. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys four. is exactly what don't we saw field. right there. Pitchers Just work around ball. them and nibble the corners a lot more that's so bad. they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. First delivery to him on the way. Oh, that's up there. Runners on first with one down. Pitch to the plate is a slider for a strike, and it's all knotted up at one and one. And a good eye as he lays off, and the count moves to two and one now on the Yankee left fielder. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Now the two one. Well, a 3-2 count and a guy that handles the bat up at the plate. This is a great time to put that runner on first in motion. Now the payoff pitch home. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. He's set. Here's the three and two. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. Right there, he goes down on strikes, but he really made that guy on the mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four oh, pitches. Awesome. And he'll miss the target away with a fastball. It's 1-0. Oh. From the belt, the pitch. And Judge is off and running. In there, now the throw. Not in time. He's in there at second. Hey, it's almost impossible to throw a base runner out that gets a lead that big. And plus, this catcher's not known for having a cannon of an arm. Ready with the 1-1. One, one. In the dirt here. Runner holds as the count moves to 2-1. and one. The set and the two and one. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. They know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. I know it's 3 1 in this situation right here, but I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the plate. 23 pitches already here in the first inning. Inside as he nearly got him, and it's ball four. Some guys take a little time to find the zone, but that with the second good. walk of the first that's inning, that's it might be a little hitter. more than just I settling in here. Not sure how Play. long of a leash they'll give him, but they're not going to let him walk the world out there. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Tyler Wade. And the Yanks trying to make this first inning even sweeter here. From the belt, the pitch. Already pitching from oh, a deficit here as he fires this one by him for strike one. Tough situation early out on the mound, but if he can limit the damage right here, might build some confidence and get him rolling. Comes set, the 0-1. One one. Fastball laid off well below the knees. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something lifted down the line and left and that will end up a foul ball and 
And this one's in the dirt. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Two and two. Here it is. Hit down the third baseline to second, but they throw it away. And he'll come in to score from second base, and that is a direct result, obviously, of that poor, poor throw. So you can mark that one down as an E5, and I bet he'd like to have that one over. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres, as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. Oh. Fastball swung on and grounded out towards second. Throw is in time, and they're able to avoid the huge inning here as the side is retired. So it's two runs here on two hits, with one of them being the home run. On now to the top half of inning number two. The Yankees lead this one two to nothing. So now Carlos Santana two hits in eight tries for the series. Hey we're the still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple yeah. of runs but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Outfield shaded a bit to left center the first pitch hit back up the middle. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. That is this. The third baseman, Jose Ramirez. In now for Cleveland, Jose Ramirez. He had a homer in the ballgame yesterday afternoon. First pitch on its way. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0 2 pitch. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Just flat out frozen there. Nothing too deceptive about that four seam fastball. So I think he wasn't expecting it at all. In now, Domingo Santana. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. In past meetings with Jay Happ, he's gone two for six. He's taken him deep once. Here's the 0 1. And he takes this one high, one and one. Two out, nobody on. And he lays off this one down and in for ball two. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. You know, from a hitter's perspective, you get pounded in, and then he throws a nasty changeup away. Is the mindset to tell yourself that he's going to go in and out all day long, or is he going to double up? That's the cat and mouse we're seeing right now. And Duhar will wait on it. As he puts this one away, the side is retired. Indians go down one, two, three. They're down two to nothing. Digging in now for the Yankees. Mike Lee Ford. Guy. He'll start us out here in the home half the of the second. Baseman. One of the keys to Mike. securing a win. They want to keep oh. the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. He pulls this one into right. And that's a base hit. So a little first pitch swing in there as he's on to kick off the inning. Hey, there's a bullet off the wall. The outfielder does a Batting really nine. good job of getting the that one in baseman. quickly. But I think yeah. they had a play there at second base. That's yeah, I'm not sure hard. what's going on there, Dan. I, I, I got to believe you're busting it out of the box thinking two until somebody tells you no. I know it would have been a close play, but I think you got to err on the aggressive side right there. Here's Miguel Andujar now. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. And he'll reach first safely. The center fielder, number 11, Brett 
Gardner. Here's Brett Gardner now. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. Gardner, a 36-year-old veteran. He's currently on a one-year deal, so he stands to be a free agent at the end of this season. Runner, runner, runner. Yeah, Matty, it's going to be interesting. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one, without a doubt, is gone. So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field. His second home run of the game. And that'll stake the Yankees to a 5-0 lead now. Pitcher making a move his feet right there. Probably upset him a little bit. He dug right back in, didn't lose his toe hold, and absolutely clobbered that pitch. Here's the second now baseman, that. DJ LeMahieu. DJ. Swing, and this Love is also Mayhew. hit well. Out to deep center. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first out. The right fielder, number 99, Aaron Good. So one away here with the bases empty, and that'll bring up the big bat of Aaron Judge. First offering on its way. Yeah. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 oh, for strike one. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk, coming right after him here. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. Wow, that's 40 pitches for him already. This doesn't have the makings of a start that he's going to go very deep. The one and two pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. And now a lunging catch, and he does a full gainer as well, but somehow hangs now on for the second out. The left fielder, Giancarlo Denton. Striding forward now, the Yankee cleanup hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Whoa, that's down. Here's the pitch. Giancarlo swings, and this ball is hit well into left field. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. Again, another foul ball. Three runs already home here. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. Another look at the big blow for the Bombers. A three-run home run. We've played two. Five-nothing New York. Striding in for the Indians, Jordan Luplo. It's been a really slow start to the season for him, as you can see by the April numbers on your screen. Here comes the first pitch. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. The 1-1. One, one. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. To two balls and two strikes now. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. Lifted down the line and left. 
And that will end up a foul ball. The 2-2 one more time. Hit weakly back to the mound. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Batting up, the catcher, number 55. Roberto. Digging in, Roberto Perez he comes in after a day of rest yesterday, so we'll see if it did him any good. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Bases are empty, one man out. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. To two and two now. It's been more than two innings since this guy's allowed anyone to reach base. He looks pretty unbeatable on the bump right now. One out, nobody on. Outside and a full count, three and two. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order looming. And he takes right. ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Man, that's just painful yeah, for a pitcher Second right pitch. there. A 3 2 Pink offering that was Pink right Pink. on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about that one too much. Digging in for his second at bat, Cesar Hernandez. A base hit in his first trip. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really what much else? controlled the whole outcome up until this point. Ball one to start the at bat. Runner at first here, one man out. Not where you want the changeup, but he gets away with it for a strike. Hey. The ballman, two strikes. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. One of the big advantages to pitching ahead in the count if you're a pitcher, because you have to cover both pitches if you're a hitter. You have to cover the off speed and the fastball. And in a one two count, you might be sitting off speed. And what happens? He gets the fastball, and he can't catch up to the express. At the plate now, Oscar Mercado, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 1-0. And he fouls this one off. Now the one and one pitch. The count is two and one. Well, this has been a long inning already, and I know he doesn't want it to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. The three and one pitch. And this is pop fouled off to the right and back into the seats. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. hit the other way out toward right field. Judge is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Indians leave one. They can't chip into that 5 nothing deficit. Welcome back to the Bronx as we check in with Heidi. 
Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Not only have they already put up a bunch of runs on the board, but they've also made the opposing starter work very hard. His pitch count is high, so it seems they'll be getting into the bullpen sooner rather than later. All right, Heidi, thank you. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Four Gary Sanchez. He drew a the walk catcher. his first time up. Gary. Even though they're up by a boatload Sanchez. early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. they got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. Curveball taken outside to begin the at-bat. Ball one. Hey, let's not sugarcoat it. He's had a rough couple innings. He's going to have to find a way, whether it be mechanically or mentally, to be able to stay in this game. Hey. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. And it's fouled away. The one two. He is swung on and missed strike three. I think that curveball is a big reason why he's able to turn things around in this start after a rough beginning. It's got some good bite to it. So that tells me he's doing a nice job of snapping it off out front. Really finishing that pitch like you're supposed to. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade. As it's on the ground toward the hole. A dive and he knocks it down. On the recovery throw is in time to get the out at first. What a heads up play. Now batting. Shortstop. Waver. Torres. Next for New York. Torres. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Here's the first pitch to him. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit hard on the ground to the right. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. Well, pitching poorly once Up like he did in his game. last start, it's going to happen here or there, but he's struggling what? here again too, and there has oh. to be some concern. And part of it is probably psychological. He's got to get those here-we-go-again thoughts out of his head. Into the box, Mike Ford. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. One for one after a single this first time up. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. Fouled off. And that misses two and two. And an off speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. One left for the Yankees, but they hold a five nothing lead. That'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on. But you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle. And one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Now batting the designated hitter, Franmil Reyes. Next for the Indians is the designated hitter, Fran Moraes. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Maybe a favorable call there, taken for a strike. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one, mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's thrown a first pitch strike to. 
Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. No runs, just one hit and one error in the ballgame for Cleveland so far. Fouled away. Oh, and two count. Here's the pitch. Swing and a liner. Foul. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Nope. Can't ball get him one. to chase. It's one and two. One ball, two strikes. That's ball, ball two. I got to count two and two. The 2 2. High in the air out towards shallow right. Judges under it. Two down. Now batting. The first baseman, Carlos Santana. Here's Carlos Santana now. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. First delivery to him on the way. A ball and no strikes. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. The 1-1. One, one. Line to the right side, but that's a foul ball. The 1-2. One, This pitch is popped up. Ford is there and the side is retired. Down in order go the tribe. Need to get it going soon. It's 5 nothing. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. He's set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth the inning. Third baseman, Miguel. And too hard. First pitch coming. Here it is. Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. The wind up and the 0 1. Change up and he ain't buying it one and two. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Again, a one two. two, two yeah. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there, really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. Just off the outside as he can't catch the corner. Hit in the air out to right. Luplo is there, one away. The center fielder, number 11, Brett Gardner. So here's the veteran, Brett Gardner. It'll be interesting to see if they use that changeup in this at bat. That last at bat, that was a changeup he hit for a home run. I'm going to see if this time they don't go to more fastballs and curveballs. He's got it. Throw gets him, two down. Now batting second baseman, DJ Love Mayhew. Digging in once again, DJ LeMayhew. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. 
This could be a huge win for the guy on the mound if he's able to get out of this inning one two three and start fresh next inning with the middle of the order. Hard hit ball to short. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. So the Yanks go one two three as they're unable to add to their five nothing lead. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, I talked with manager Terry Francona during the break about his thoughts on the Indians hitters to this point. And he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. A lot of their outs have come from weak contact and strikeouts as a result of chasing pitches outside the strike zone. He said it's going to be extremely important for them going forward to be more selective with their swings and force the opposition to throw more strikes. All right. Thanks, Heidi. In now, Jose Ramirez, 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few ABs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be. We take a look at the numbers up to this point. You see, he's only given up two hits so far today, so he's been hitting his spots all game long. Remains to be seen if he can keep that shutout intact going forward, but I'm not betting against him. Throw over to the bag, and the runner back in standing. Stepping in now, Domingo Santana, as he'll swing and pop this one up near second base. LeMayhew battles the sun a bit, but has it for round number one. The right fielder, number eight, Jordan Luplo. So stepping in, Jordan Luplo. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Popped him up. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. The catcher, number 55, Roberto Perez. Into the box now, Roberto Perez reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. From the belt, kicks and deals. Can't waste getting a leadoff runner on in this situation. Someone's got to bear down and get a big knock. No runs, two hits, and one error in the ballgame for Cleveland so far. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. And he fouls this one off. Here's the one and two delivery. Here's a look over to first, and he's back standing. A runner on first with two away. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. One left for the Tribe. They can't chip into that 5 nothing deficit. Hunter Wood will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Number 44, Hunter Wood. So striding in, Aaron Judge. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. The right fielder, Aaron Judge. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Outside. That's the ball. Oh. 
Ball two. Now the 2 0. -oh. Ball inside. Three and one. Oh, forget about this one. Ba ba booey. Boom goes the dynamite. Solo home run there for Aaron Judge. Seven home runs for him on the year now. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. We've seen these guys go deep three times so far in this one, guys. You know, d -Row, looks like the boys are dialing long distance from the batter's box so far. <laughs> yeah, the pitchers aren't fooling anyone today, Dan. Let's see if this trend continues. Now batter. The left field. Giancarlo Stanton now. Giancarlo. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. A ball and a strike. Now some movement in the tribe bullpen as a right hander starts to loosen up. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. Base is empty here with nobody out. Count remains two and two. And now pitch on the way. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Now batting the catcher. Gary Sanchez. So the base is empty here with one away. And the next to bat, the Dominican born catcher, Gary Sanchez. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. The 0 1 pitch. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Well, there's the classic 0-2 wasted fastball. Not even close to the zone. We'll see what he throws on the next pitch. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. This tells me a lot about this guy. He's done a real nice job bouncing back now from that, that home run to strike hitter. out the next two guys. Tyler. Sometimes you're going to get taken deep, Way. but it's all about how you respond that really matters. Standing in now, Tyler Wade. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. This is on the ground over to first. Gloved by Santana, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over.
Yanks able to add on one more via the solo home run. Five innings complete, and it's all New York. Six nothing Yanks. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Cesar Hernandez and then he and his fellow top of the order hitters haven't really offered much help for this lineup so far. No your one two three guys are the ones you look to to generate a lot of action and they just haven't been up to the task so far in this one still time for them to turn it around though we'll see if it happens. First pitch on its way. And there's a line drive base hit to left field. So a line drive single to left makes it two hits for him now this afternoon at the plate. And there you see the tribe leaderboard in that category as he currently ranks second best on the ball club. Into the box now, Oscar Mercado, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Hit out towards second. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And not really much of a chance to recover there as he'll reach first on what undoubtedly will be scored as an infield single. Francisco. The door. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Here comes the 0-1. Nope. One That's and one. Well, the Indians have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now sure would be a great time. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's 2-1 and one now. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. The 2 1. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Stanton has a read on it. Makes the play one away. Now batting the designated hitter, Ronil Reyes. Next will be the designated hitter, Fran Reyes. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hard hit ball to second. LeMahieu with a great stop. The second for one. Not in time. Up next. Boy, that was a smooth play, wasn't it? Great job to lay out and make the stop, and then to feed the second from his knees for the out. Pretty impressive display there. Now to the plate, Carlos Santana, and their runners at the corners now. From the stretch. First offering to him stays upstairs. It's a ball and no strikes. Man, this guy's had their number all game long. Up, down, in and out. He's pitching very well. Runners on first and third, two away. Yeah. A ball and a strike. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Fielded cleanly. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. 
Bottom part of the order, 7, 8, and 9 due up in the home half. It's the Yankees 6 and the Indians nothing. Ready now, Torres. A hit in two at bats for him at this for point the in the ballgame. The shortstop. Laver. Here's the first pitch to him. Torres. Oh, one pitch on its way. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control. 0 oh and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And smart to lay off there as the fastball misses. It's 1 and 2 now. That misses and we're even at two and two. I think he's shown you right there. He was trying to put you away with the off speed pitch. Have to be leery of that right there and take pull side away. That'll keep you on all stuff. Fastballs and the off speed. And it's fouled away. The two two one more time. Doesn't get the zone. Count full hit. now. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2-2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. This is foul right side. The next 3-2. Nice. Swung on and missed strike three. A lot of indecision there on that check swing, and that's something you see quite Up a lot on three and two. When the, the difference between play. striking out and drawing a walk and can be an oh. inch or two, it's pretty understandable why guys aren't always aggressive with their swings. And you look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's one and oh. Bases are empty, one man out. That's to the left and foul. One ball, one strike. Fouled off. Another one sent foul. Another one, two. Nope. Outside. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. The two, two. Fouled away. Anticipated. Here's a ground ball now to the right side. On to first, but it's too late as the first base umpire says they just missed getting him at the bag. Now Not particularly it. graceful there, and as a result, Miguel. he'll be slapped with an E4 Andrew on the play. Hall. Into the box, Miguel Andujar. He flew out in his last at bat. First offering on its way. Oh, that's out. Runners on first with one down. Just oh, off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Now this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. The 2-0. 3 and 0 oh now. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Ah. 3 and 1. 
stealing that strike on 3-0 was important, but you don't want to miss over the heart of the plate in this situation. I got to believe he's going to be way more aggressive right here. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Hey, boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Hey, you guys know me. Hitting's a process of elimination, and I'm eliminating the changeup this next pitch. I'm on everything else. The next 3 2. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Hernandez ranges back and he has it for out number two. The batter, the center fielder, Brett Gardner. Brett Gardner will stand in again as we flash you back to the early stages of this ball game. There were fans still finding their seats as he launched his second home run of the game as he was off to a fast start indeed. Here's the first pitch to him. 1 0. Now the 1 0. Hey. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two call. Down the third baseline, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Two out with the man at first. Nope. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Taken high and deep to right. Going back is the right fielder. Still going back. Boom goes the dynamite. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. His third home run of the ball game as they've widened this lead to eight now. Well, in hockey, they call it a hat trick. Hitting three home runs in one outing is a heck of a lot harder and a lot more rare. He's having an afternoon he'll never forget. In now, DJ LeMahieu. Now back, second baseman. As he lets it in the air to right field. LeMahieu. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. The Yankees get a couple on the two-run home run. The six, seven, eight hitters coming up to start the seventh. It's the Yankees' eight. And the Indians nothing. Seventh inning ready to roll. So coming to the plate, Jose Ramirez. He singled his last time up. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this. Only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. One and one to count. Two and one to Jose Ramirez. And a fastball, but he's losing it a bit here to three and one now. Well, it's a pretty well known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters' counts, and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. Well, fastball count there yielded fastball mark. Yeah, you drive oh, to the ballpark complete. praying to get in one three one count a night and buy yourself that guaranteed fastball, and he didn't miss it.
At the plate now, Domingo Santana, as he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Back to back tough pitches and he's down 0 and 2 now. Nobody out runner on first. Santana swings and this is hit very well out toward left field. See you later over the wall a home run. It's a two run homer for Domingo Santana home run number five on the year and they're now on the board though still well behind. Well if I was the manager I would tell my pitchers to work around this guy. I mean he's hit three home runs against them in this series. What more do they need to see four five she's enough is enough. So now to the plate, Jordan Luplo, as he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. No hits to this point. Fastball in there for a strike. 92 on the radar gun that time. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. The 1-1 home. Grounded weakly down the line toward third. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. Whoa, Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. Fastball called. Strike three. And there's the first out of the inning. It's never easy to rebound after serving up a two-run shot, but that at bat was a good indication to me that he isn't letting it get to him. He went right after him for the strikeout. To the plate now, Roberto Perez. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one, he struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Let's see if he tries to climb the ladder right here, change his eye level, or bounce something in the dirt. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. One ball, two strikes. He wasn't even close to swinging right there. That was a stone cold take. Still only one out in the inning. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. The bottom third of the lineup hasn't put up a lot of resistance in this one. Pretty much has been sure oh, outs other than that one hit. That really base. puts a lot of pressure on other guys to make stuff base. happen. These aren't the guys you usually count on, but it certainly helps if they can do something productive. At the plate, Cesar Hernandez. Oh, as he man. looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Next pitch will be number 100 for him now through six and two thirds. Pitch number 100 on its way. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Stanton on the run. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Ladies and gentlemen, the Indians get a couple of runs here on the strength of this two run home run. Get up and stretch. It's the Yankees eight and the Indians two. Adam Simber enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Adam Simber. Digging in and looking for more. Aaron Judge. A hit in two tries for him so far. Yeah, that last at bat, that he turned that fastball on. He did the hit it a ton. He did the hit it a country mile, but hey, listen, a home run is a home run. He's ready. Here's the first offering. 
into center field line drive base hit. So that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway. That's what we refer to in the biz as a hanger right there. Now back. He's lucky he's Let's getting his baseball back. John Carlo. Denton. Standing in now, Giancarlo Stanton. As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, 1-0. Simber was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. Two balls and no strikes, the count to Stanton. Simber benefits from the fact that he throws a lot of strikes, doesn't walk many batters. However, there have been occasions where he's been hit around a bit. And that's one of the keys when you're managing a guy like this. If he's on, you're going to see him attack hitters. And when he's not, he's more prone to giving up base hits. So you have to have the bullpen ready if it's one of those days that he doesn't have it. Chopped to third. Tough to get two. To second for one. To Santana to get the double play. Now batting, catcher, Gary Sanchez. So base is empty now after the double play. And next to hit is the catcher, Gary Sanchez. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ball one, no strike. Two out, nobody on. One zero pitch is a slider swung on and missed one and one. The pitch. Oh, that's out. Called strike two as he locks him up there. What a well-executed sinker right there. There's really nothing you can do with that pitch. You're either burying it into the ground or fouling it off your shin. Here now the 2-2. Skied into straightaway right. Right fielder giving chase. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Down in order go the Yankees. But no matter, they lead it 8-2. Chad Green will come out and take the ball here as he'll be making his 15th appearance of the year. Number 57, Chad Green. Ready to begin the eighth, striding into the box, Oscar Mercado. He's working on a one for three thus far. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. Hit on the ground out to short. Torres scoops it up. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Now Final back. line there for the Yankees starting pitcher and he'll be very happy with how the day went. Yeah he looked really dialed in from start to finish. This is the kind of outing you hope for every time you go out there. So I think he'll feel pretty good about the effort he put forth in this one. Into the box now Francisco Lindor. 
as the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. And he misses again 2 and 0. Green, a native of South Carolina. He was selected in the 11th round back in the draft of 2013. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Here it comes. The count now at 2 and 1. A little too tall that time. Three and one now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground to the left side. Throw on to first. He'll get him. Score at 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 to three ground ball. Nevertheless, there are two away now. Striding forward now is the D.H. Fran Moreas. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hey. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he fouls this one off. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. Indians go down one, two, three. Still eight to two. Oliver Perez comes on to pitch now, now hoping for better the... results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Oliver. Bottom of the inning now. In now is the Yankees DH. Yankees. Tyler Wade. He's got a hitter. hit in three at bats Tyler. to this point. Wade. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hit out towards second. Reined in. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Up next for the Good game. range shown off that's into the stop. hole right there. Labor. That's not an easy play, but these no guys rest. make it look that way sometimes. At the plate, Torres. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. No balls and a strike to count. The Indians came into this one riding pretty high, presented with the opportunity to sweep the series. However, it has clearly not gone the way they'd hoped. One of the things you have to do is play 27 outs and not give any at bats away. They're down by several runs here. It doesn't look good, but they still have a chance. And when you have a chance, you have hope. And a knock for him this time. He's two for four for the game. Dan, right here you see a situation where no doubles defense can, back. comes back to First bite you. As a pitcher, were you even aware when guys oh. are playing a foot off the track? I'll be honest with you, D-Row. You're so concerned about on the mound trying to get that white ball to that dark brown or black glove that I never really ever turned around to even though it's where they were playing. I was concerned about getting the guy out swinging the bat. Stepping in now, Mike Ford, as he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. And for the opposition, finishing this one off and salvaging a win in the series will sort of allow them to at least save a little face here at home. 
No doubt about it. The last thing you want to do is get beat around in your own backyard. You want to make your home ballpark a win. Oh, he jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. Well, he will haul this in on the run as he had to go back to the warning track to do it, and there are two away. Now batting, third baseman, Miguel Andujar. Stepping in, Miguel Andujar. He's working on a one for three thus far. First delivery to him on the way. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d Roy, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Nope, outside. One ball and two strikes to count. The one two. Oh, Runner on first with two away. Three. And strike three called as he says, You got to be kidding me with the side retired. Yanks leave one, but no matter, they lead it eight to two. Stepping in, Carlos Santana. He'll try and do what he can to work toward cutting into this big deficit. Here comes the first pitch. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. Jay Happ would be in line for the victory should the score hold. Santana in front with a 2 and 0 count. All over the place to start the ninth. It's 3 and 0 now. A lot of pitches away here, which is pretty much what you're forced to do with lefty batters here at Yankee Stadium. It doesn't take much to hook one out of here to right field with that short porch out there. Three and one. The three and one pitch. Three and two, full count. Payoff pitch home. A swing and a shot hit down the corner, but it bends just foul into the second deck. Bouncer up the middle. Andujar's got it. And a close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number one. Third base, Jose Romero. Now with the plate, Jose Ramirez. He's two for three thus far. 
I mean, what a diamond in the rough Jose Ramirez has been for Terry Francona and the Cleveland Indians. This guy burst on the scene in 2016, just absolutely set that lineup on fire. They were looking for a guy to bail out Michael Brantley and the production they would miss from him in the lineup, and Jose Ramirez filled that admirably. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. That's ball two. Well, those two were a couple of close back. pitches right there in the inner part of the zone. Hitters will tell you, pitches in that location are tough to do anything with. Ball three. 3 and 0. Oh. Domingo Santana will be next. One out, nobody on. Taking all the way, and it's three and one now. Yep, three and one. There's ball four. Nope. Ball four. Well, he walked him on five pitches, but that last pitch was really good. He missed down, but only by a hair. When a hitter has a 3-1 count, he can wait until he gets a pitch he loves. Ready to take his hacks again, Domingo Santana, as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. Yeah, Matt, and that last at bat, that was a pretty good pitch. A fastball down and away that he went out and hooked and pulled it. So if I'm on the mound right now, I'm going to have to think about throwing one up and in and standing this guy up to make that outside corner not as appealing. Boy, in a perfect oh, spot for the right. splitter there. It's 0-2. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Hit hard to the right side, but foul, so we'll see if he can straighten that out. Runner at first here, one man out. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. That misses, and it's going to set up a big pitch now, three and two. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Now a swing and a miss. Maybe even a foul tip, but it's held onto behind the plate for out number two. I really like that the he bat. gave up nibbling out the of the zone bat. trying to get him to chase. Jordan. That wasn't working, so he just reached back and fired a good old country hardball fastball right by him. No better feeling in the world when you're a pitcher than throwing a fastball right by a guy. In now, Jordan Luplo. Now a swing and a fly ball. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. And this is swung on and missed. So with that, they find themselves down to their final strike here this afternoon. Last strike now for Cleveland. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. But no chance to recover. Luplo is on it first after the strikeout. And not what he wanted to do there is now they'll need four outs to get out of this inning. Settling in now, Roberto Perez. And these guys are making a little push here. You have to like the effort despite the odds. 
Yeah, you really do, Matt. Look, they still have a significant hill to climb, but hey, they string a couple of hits together here, and all of a sudden, this thing feels doable. Here's the first pitch to him. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Mayhew's got it. Throw on to first, and the Yankees will salvage at least the finale in this three-game series as the ball game is over. It's always nice to give your fans at home something to cheer about, and they definitely did that right here, coming through with a big win at home. Eight to two is how this one ends today. The New York Yankees get the win on the heels of four home runs. Jay Happ earns his fifth winner of the year. Zach Plezak was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasgers, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.